Fresh Russian strikes rained down across Ukraine today, with multiple casualties being reported. Air raid sirens blared across Ukraine in a nationwide alert. Explosions were heard on the outskirts of capital Kiev as well. Authorities in Kiev reported that the strikes left at least three people dead and another six injured. In the city of Vilnyansk in southeastern Ukraine, officials are claiming that a newborn baby was killed in a Russian missile attack. The Russian missiles hit a maternity ward in a two-story building. Ukrainian officials say the mother was rescued, but they could not save the baby. She said a missile hit the maternity hospital and she could not find her child. She was pulled out from under the rubble by the emergency workers. Her child was dead. Her legs were either burned or wounded by shrapnel. Her face and emotionally she is devastated. The Russian missiles are not just targeting civilian infrastructure in Ukraine, but also energy facilities in that country. Energy infrastructure is extremely critical for Ukraine, especially as winter approaches. The country, in fact, is staring at a very dark and grim winter. Since October, Russia has openly acknowledged targeting Ukraine's civil power and heating systems. According to Ukraine's nuclear operator, all three nuclear power plants still under Ukrainian control are disconnected from the electricity grid following these attacks. And now, not just Ukraine, but neighboring countries also are reporting a shortage of electricity. Officials across the border in Moldova say electricity is lost to more than half of their country. This is the first time a neighboring state has reported such extensive damage from the war in Ukraine. Earlier this month, Moldova also experienced widespread blackouts following another barrage of Russian missiles. Meanwhile, the European Parliament has designated Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism. They say Moscow's military strikes on civilian targets, such as energy infrastructure, hospitals, schools and shelters in Ukraine, violate the international laws. This is yet another lie that we have been hearing constantly from the Russian side, that the Russian military is conducting an operation targeting military objects only. In reality, the more the Russian army is being pushed back and defeated on the battlefield, the more it is targeting civilian objects with an attempt to frighten the Ukrainian society and weaken its resolve. 